like anything renewed for the first time, you're very nervous about handling a newborn if you're not used to handling a newborn. I suppose prior to bathing, it's good to get used to handling your baby as well, you know, with the clothes off and so that you know where the baby needs support and essentially a newborn will need a lot of head support because they have no head control in the start. And then if you want to test the temperature that it's nice and comfortable for the baby, what we suggest is put your elbow in as opposed to your, your hand because your hand is desensitized to a lot of heat because you're, handling, you're using your hands every day. So your elbow would be more sensitive to heat and temperature changes. So dip your elbow in and if it feels nice and warm, not too hot, not too cold, that's the perfect temperature for baby. And you don't want to overfill it either because you don't want to you know, immerse the baby in too deep of water. Just enough to cover up to baby's like belly button or up to the tummy. That's enough uh, for you to be able to handle baby as well. They don't have any control or muscle, muscle control. You essentially have to hold them in that bath and stay with them for the entire bath um, for, you know, to keep them safe and to take them in and out safely. When you're getting ready to bathe your baby, it's essential to get organized and have everything within reach of yourself so you're not leaving the baby unattended at any time and you're constantly holding the baby while you're you know preparing for the bath okay that you're not leaving the baby unattended okay so as i said key is preparation so get your your area ready with all your equipment uh your bath and your clothes they're nice and warm maybe you know within reach as well and some nappy and some nice towels nice soft warm towels for the baby as well so that it, the, it's going to be a short experience for the baby because you don't want the baby to get cold um, while undressing and dressing and in and out of the bath. So I suppose once you have all your area prepared, make sure things are at your level as well so you're not overreaching and you know, that your back is not overstretched while you're doing your, your baby bath. So I suppose the main thing is that you have a, a nice bath that you're it's at a good level, it's on a sturdy surface that it won't fall off the surface. And you don't need to use a lot of products with newborns, so just maybe just some warm water, have some cotton wool to cleanse the head and the face. And if you want to use a tiny bit of product to wash the baby's hair, just some baby shampoo you can. So I suppose before you start, you just strip the baby down and to the nappy. When you're doing the head and the face and the eyes and the good idea is just to keep the baby it's easier for you to to hold the baby if the baby's all wrapped nicely in a towel with just the nappy on okay so wrap and it's easier for you to control it so you want to make sure that your hand your hand is supporting the baby's head and neck just like that and that your other hand is in the lower back and that you cradle the baby with your right hand, whichever way, if you're right-handed or left-handed, that you're supporting the baby on your hip with the one hand behind the baby's head at all times. And then you can move over to your bath if you're comfortable and just basically get some cotton wool and wipe the baby's eyes from inside to out. And then the other eye inside to out fresh with a fresh piece of cotton wool and that you clean the baby's face gently with cotton wool and pat dry with some um with some nice soft toweling and then while you're over the bat you can gently splash the baby all the time supporting the baby's neck with your other hand neck and shoulder and that the baby is cradled under your arm as well so that your your arm is essentially providing all the support behind the baby and your hand is cradling the baby's head. And then your free hand can be used to wash the baby's um, hair. And then after that's done, you can place the baby back down on a nice warm towel and a changing mat. And once the head and face are dry, you can unwrap the baby and uh, undress the baby, take the nappy off. And then again, you want to cradle the baby with your hand under the baby's head and shoulder and lift the baby with your other hand supporting 
into the bat and all the time keeping the, your hand, lowering your hand then down underneath the baby's arm so that your, your baby's head is resting on your wrist and your hand is on the, under the baby's um, arm so that you've got a really good um, support for the baby. And then you've got your free hand to wash the baby gently down with a baby sponge or some cotton wool. And as I said, it's, it's a short process, so you don't want to um, you know, expose the baby too much because they get cold very quickly. And then when you're ready to lift out, you put your hand underneath the baby's shoulder and the baby's head is resting on your wrist again. And you have that other hand free to go under the baby, lower, under the baby's lower back and back onto a nice warm changing mat with a nice towel and then wrap the baby again so that the baby's nice kept nice and warm at all times and then literally pat down dry the baby and make sure that your your baby clothes and nappy is close to hand that they're nice and warm and that you can dress the baby nice and quickly and wrap again in a nice warm blanket after the end of the bath so that the baby is comfortable and nice and warm. And it, it be, most newborns love water, actually, they really enjoy the experience. And sometimes if a baby even is unsettled, we would suggest to give them a nice warm bath and that it kind of just soothes them and, you know, just relaxes. Um, them in the evening time especially prior to feeding as well it's a lovely time in the evening to give a, a newborn a nice warm bath